Oh yeah! Theme song for the 16 days of activism for no violence to women and children. John Nina has been around the music industry for two decades, during which he has triumphed as one of the foremost trendsetters in the South African and African music landscapes. In the last 20 years, John Nina has built inroads into the music industry and secured good working relations with its most significant players. Some of the big legendary names in the South African music industry that Joe Nina has worked with include Steve Gagan, Babsi Mlangeni, Benny Padime, the late Stompy Mavi, the late Nana Coyote, Madala Gunene and many more. Today, as founder and manager of the label Killer Joe Records, John Nina has also coupled his magic behind the microphone together with his mastery of a range of other music instruments with his mission to identify and advance young talented musicians from disadvantaged rural communities, sprawling townships and urban metros. He ranks it as one of his top passions to manage these various artists so that they may one day rise to be stars in their own right. In the year 2000, John Nina was confined in a wheelchair for a while after a serious accident that almost cost him his life. He once remarked to a radio talk show host whilst recuperating that the power of the wheelchair was its simple lesson that opened my eyes to both mine and other people's abilities. It thus came as no surprise, but an expected shift towards disability awareness, that his next studio materials included sessions with artists with disabilities. The first four musicians, Kekana, Mlangeni, Mavi and Padime, identified in the list of past collaborations, are artists with disabilities. Killer Joe Records has in the past collaborated with these artists in raising awareness of the role that people with disabilities can play in the entertainment industry. This has also included passing knowledge of the rights, legal, economic and political, of people with disabilities in wider society. John Nina's classic, Sbali Audeli, will always remind us of that first time when we all came together as a society and stood up to confront that bully who endlessly terrorized our children in our neighborhoods. John Nina has always been more of an activist than a mere artist. His music talks of his sincere belief in our collective power to influence the blowing winds of change. It is this social activism, coupled with his strong sense of disability awareness, that has inspired John Nina to record a new song that sends a message for no violence against women and children, with a virtually unknown act on the greater local music scene, the Green Parades. This group of men, 
a collective of nine tenors and baritones on crutches under the stewardship of Mshoni Peni Kumede, lead vocalist and vocal arranger, met and formed this traditional Stratamia group after meeting as students at the Manson Lincoln Special School for Students with Disabilities at Umlazi Township, south of Deben, KwaZulu Natal, 10 years ago. It is just like Joe Nina not only to believe in the vocal prowess of these men, but also to tap into the power of the symbol they fully represent, ability. You have just to sit back, relax, and listen to the Green Berets haunting background vocals in the song Awiege to imagine the colorful magic that hovered in the air inside the Killer Joe record studios when they all assembled to attack the microphones. A masterpiece was painted with brilliant ease. Awiege a song commissioned by Valhalla Arts and the Guazulu Natal Department of Arts and Culture as part of a wider program aimed at identifying and nurturing music talents of people with disabilities has been recorded to be the theme song for the 16 days of activism for no violence against women and children. The 16 days of activism for no violence to women and children call on you and I to love, respect, protect, and cherish our women, our children, our country.